Alrighty, we are back. Another World Cup playthrough. Mayday here as we get set for a, one of our alternates, uh, Black Horse Golf Club. This is by Adam Hill. Uh, this is our third playthrough of the day. Uh, Limp Roads, if you're uh, still in here, I uh, did want to pay off the question you were asking just as we were uh, pausing and resetting the stream to save the VOD uh, on the last course we did, Strathlorn. But... Uh, <coughs> What if the thing about that, though, Justin, Terry's the other way around. He finds exhausting refreshing. But uh, anyway, um, Limp Roads had asked, so what's going on? It's a little different. In years past, it was almost straight, uh, straight FIFA style, how we did the World Cup, where everybody in Group A would play each other round robin top two in points would advance. Um, doing that a little differently uh, this time around. Um, in that uh, what is going to happen is all four of the courses in a group are going to be judged together. And also all the courses from the opposing group. So Group A and Group B will have the same set of judges in the, in the group stage. Same with C and D. They'll have their own set. E and F will have their own set. G and H uh, have their own set. So, uh, all righty. Um, so what I was saying, Limp Roads, we used to do it straight up like World Cup in the past. Uh, there almost was a little too much volatility, I kind of felt. And you had courses who... Uh, certainly ought to have advanced to the knockout stage that for whatever reason be it you know a set of judges that doesn't know what a sand belt course is or what have you that uh, it, it didn't quite work out that way so part of the reason so we're doing more a pool style so basically what you gotta figure here group A and B is almost one mega group these four courses will be judged together. The top two courses out of this group will advance. But it isn't like it's one versus two, one versus three, one versus four. They're all judged together and given the same scores. So the top, top two will advance here. The top two will advance here. Then, out of the four courses remaining in this pod, A, B, the two courses with the highest overall score will also advance as, as wild cards. And that'll be the same for CD, same for EF, same for GH. So you'll have 24 courses make the knockout stage. The, number, the, the group winners will automatically advance to the round of 16. The runners-up will play the wild cards in the round of 60, or the round of 24. So... That's how uh, we're doing things this year. We'll explain that more. Uh, published deadline is the 31st of March. We're hoping, we're aiming to have um, all the group stage results in uh, by the 14th of April. Uh, yes, justice for Frankston, Seabach. You, you nailed it. So uh, that was anyway paying off the question that we had just before the end of the last stream. Uh, Adam Hill, one of our alternates. Uh, alternates only needed to produce nine whole courses. Adam has went ahead and put out an 18 whole course. Uh, first time I've played this, so I am going to set pin one here. And, uh, certainly a brood 7,700 yards, par 71 from the tips. And, of course, uh, Adam Hill, uh, he's, he's one of those guys, uh, goes way back, um, some very tough courses he made all the way back in the TGC one day, so I'm expecting this to be a bit of a challenge. Though, I'm trying to remember, did he even, did he set a difficulty when he, no, he did not, so, but I'm expecting difficult. Alright. A lot of movement here. 
and of course I can't go with the full driver. Oh, that's a rip roaring start. Ladies and gentlemen, a pin that would make Dario blush with shame. Look at that. Especially now that I've missed the fairway. Okay, boys, do we put it for the content? I think... I think you may have a line putting it. I think there may be a line. I think if we come up there, I might be able to conjure something here. Or I just completely wimp out on it. I I actually had the line if I had hit, hit the right speed. The line was there. that list to my list of 27 other things I got to do, Seabach. Along with making sure I, I get all the right names in there for Smedley. And that's part, part of the reason why they're not up, they're not updated. I, every time I posted them, somebody else would back out and I'd have to change it again. This one looks a little kinder and gentler. Blue Fox is trying to figure out Zen Garden as I see on my screen. theme here. Um, long par five. Use the tree as an aiming point. <laughs> More than likely, Mikey. Okay.
Yes, certainly we've had a tough go of it so far. Sit down. That's going to go deep. Luckily, that stayed on the green. I thought that was going off the back, and that would have been real bad. We can definitely see the use of the arctic grasses to create the native areas uh, outside the play line. Let's see if we can chase the three wood up. Hey, about time you woke up, Rich. How goes it? We are at Black Horse Golf Club. One of our alternates in the uh, World Cup of Design. Uh, we already played a couple of our, our main contest entries. Uh, Burnt Pines and Strathlorn earlier on. Uh, this is an Adam Hill design right here. In fact, uh, let me see if I can... Uh, pop up the link for you in the thread or in the chat here there it is That is a nice looking logo. I wonder if that was a... Yeah, it is a J. Ray. Ray logo. J. Ray God. He has become logo maker of the stars. Over the last uh, little bit here. It would look great on a polo. Worn while playing polo. On a black horse. Oh my, this is a shot. <laughs> I must be a no one then, Scoot. Actually, I enjoy making my own logos, though. I know just enough graphic design to be dangerous. Let's put it that way. You hang around the production department of a newspaper long enough, you pick up a couple of tricks. Have 
liking says J Ray Guns making him a him a logo. And, and don't get me wrong, J Ray's definitely doing great work. So, but uh, I I certainly like uh, dabbling in the Photoshop and seeing what I can come up with. Thing is, though, Rich, I use finger paints instead, so. Oh, get, get left, get left. Yeah. They aren't required, Justin. They do add to the course's backstory, though. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. Wowza. Yes, I would say... Uh, so far, Adam's reputation for making difficult courses has shown through here. We've got some doozy pins. Well, that ain't going to get there. What was I even thinking? Okay, that was just a complete brain cramp there. I should have never tried to fight the wind on that one. That one was all me. Yeah. Tr true, Victor, but it's the World Cup, so I I I'm ex I'm in full turnout gear. I'm I'm ready to put out some fires. I'm sure there will be. Can you? Maybe? Should you? Probably not. Alright, later Viking. Be good. Mm. You know, I don't think we'd have been able to make it. I don't think I'd have been able to clear that. Be good. Be right. See, I actually, I actually use Paint Shop, which is basically the the cheap ghetto version of a uh, Photoshop. So, but it does what it need. I need it to do. Yeah, I appreciate that, Justin. It's, uh, yeah, think about it. It's been essentially, uh, <laughs> it's been essentially, uh, a little more than two years since, uh, uh, this, the contests were kind of 
rebranded and uh, revamped under the TGC T brand. Oh, good lord. That was not what we wanted to do, was it? There is a backboard there, though. Okay, baseball swing, wind off the right, <laughs> doesn't move the ball an inch. Nine bucks, bucks a month for Photoshop? Yeah. Oh, check up. Well, that's one way to grind out a par, out of par five. <laughs> that is some pin now, ain't it? Just hit it somewhere on the dance floor and figure out how the hell to make a two putt, huh? I actually, that ain't half bad. That ain't half bad. We've got a fairly reasonable attempt from here. All right, we will take that par. This is this is a hole where uh, you can already tell, just given its length and whatnot, uh, you'll gladly take your three and run to the next tee. Okay, I know we're not critiquing here, but... I just thought of how cool if we would have went with like a Pine Valley split double green here, one here and one here. That that would have been neat the way this is this is routed. Random thought again, not a judging critique or anything, because I don't. Uh, I'm not even one of the judges for the side contest, which will be judged by volunteers from our main field. I still got to get that all squared away and get you guys rolling once uh, for when we uh, get everything in and ready to go. Huh, that one took off on me. Yeah, we managed a two putt. Ooh, almost a little lion's mouth, but not quite. out of the way. 
way. Oh, hold the fairway. Got actually a manageable wedge in here. How about that? Oh my goodness, we have a legit chance at a birdie, guys. Don't look now. We've been just kind of on that buck and bull and trying to hold on for the eight seconds here, but... Uh, We have found our way under par. Oh. A barbecue pizza sounds absolutely delicious right about now. A little grilled chicken, caramelized onion. Damn it, Smedley, you're making me hungry. <laughs> right? That's all right. Uh, it won't be quite barbecue chicken pizza here tonight, but we do have a uh, a pretty delicious dinner on tap. Beef tip. Poutine. I am already salivating. <laughs> Just the tip, Maddie. Yes. Yes, beef tips. Curds, some fries, all over all, ever, one another. <laughs> I, I I know, I know, Maddie. I know, Maddie. Typically, it's just a good brown gravy, but I, I think beef tips is a is a uh, suitable substitution. Oh, poutine is the single greatest contribution to society that Canada has ever given us. It almost makes up for Justin Bieber and Celine Dion. Almost. Oh, is this a picture? Oh. Yeah, I'm officially hungry. <laughs> no, he will forever be Canadian. We, we do not take credit for him. All right, Adam. Yes, you have. We, uh, well, you've, you've tied, uh, you've tied your rival better than, uh, Smedley did for his course. I am under par so far, and I'm actually, frankly, happy with that. Kind of ground our way back into this after a, a tough start. Big old cape hole here. Wind should help us uh, 
cover the water though. Oh, but not the rough. That's going to be too long. A lot of moving around this pit. Ooh. Chip edible, perhaps? Happy BD BDW. No, I, I can't say I've had that. Uh, I, I, are you, uh, what... What system are you on, Pappy? Are you a uh, PC, Xbox, or uh, PS... PC? No, I... I can't say I've had that, uh, that issue. Oh, you're... You've got that same problem? Yet? No kidding. Huh. Well, there's some guys in here that hopefully can help you out. Justin saying, try to verify the game cache. Oh, Maddie talking about chicken and waffles. Yeah, knock on wood. So far, so good for me with uh, with the game. But I've I've heard that's the first I've heard of it, it freezing. But uh, I, I know Victory was in here earlier, and I know he's having some some issues with the game crashing after a short period of time in the designer for whatever reason. Sweet potato waffles. That is an interesting co combination, but I would... I think that would work. Oh, okay, so so that that's weird. Adam's getting it on PS4 and... Huh. Chalk it up to H Bay. Alright, coming up the last, the long par 4 here. Okay, that might have been a little pitchy, but... With cheddar cheese ice cream. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about that. I mean, in one way, I, I, I could see it working because, like, I'm a. So is it is it more of a savory ice cream, Maddie, or? Because, like, I'm a fan of cold pack, you know, kind of the cheese spread, but. Uh... <laughs> I think that's one of those that almost have to be savory. I don't know how I'd feel about a sweet cheese ice cream. Oh, 
and then we bone the birdie putt. Alrighty, but we managed to, to live under par. 69 even. That's a Black Horse Golf Club. Good work, Adam. We'll be handing that off to the uh, side contest judges in a little bit, and we'll see how that shakes out. So, uh, I've got time for at least one more. And I'm trying to think. Um... Trying to think if they're both nine holers or if there's a, a nine and an 18 in here. But uh, let's see, next up on my list is going to be uh, this. Okay, they are both nine holers now that I remember. Uh, Mangal and Rib, uh, J, or, uh, Trash Mans is next. So we will uh, reset the stream and I will be right back with another one of our side contest contestants. <laughs> 